Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another Heroic Plus One. In our last Plus One, we talked about a big idea from Peter Atiyah's great book, Outlive. As you may recall, he uses the metaphor of a couple different TVs to make his point on what scientists call baseline resetting. Today, we're going to let him describe it in his own words. Then we'll talk about that dream I had where I was given a plus one. Here's how Peter Atiyah puts it in his book in the chapter talking about the science of sleep and how important it is if we want to extend both our lifespan and our health span. Atiyah tells us, and I quote, Yet, we are often unaware of the devastating effect that poor sleep is having on our energy levels and our performance. Research has found that people who are sleep deprived almost always underestimate its effects on them because they adapt to it. As anyone who has had infant children knows, we come to accept the resulting state of mild exhaustion and mental fog as a new normal, a process called baseline resetting. He says, I know I did. I assumed I was sleeping sufficiently as a resident and then as a consultant because I didn't have anything to compare it to. Now that I sleep better, I'm amazed that I survived for as long as I did in that state. It's like a regular TV looks fine if that's all you've ever seen, but once you see a 4K screen, you realize that your old cathode rayed tube TV was not very clear at all. The difference is that dramatic. And that's today's plus one. I repeat, where are you right now on the spectrum of old school fuzzy TV versus cutting edge high resolution goodness? Be honest. Think back to the most recent time when you woke up feeling great. It might have been this morning, or it might have been last week, or it might have been a decade ago, but think back to that time and think about what specifically you were doing. Seriously, what specifically were you doing when you were on? And perhaps most importantly, as always, think about what specifically you weren't doing. Remember, the fastest way to change your life is often to stop doing the stuff that doesn't work. So, what's the one thing you know you could start doing and the one thing you know you could stop doing that would help you wake up buzzing with energy tomorrow morning? Got it? Awesome. Crush it tonight.